Hello guys, gals, and lovers of the internet. This is Marvel and Pokemon 1993 with drum roll, please. The guy. And someone else. Um and in the last episode, uh, we took on uh, the boss of this world and got through the first dungeon. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, nice going. Um, yeah, so we took on uh, Target Zan. Yeah, he's got bloke. I don't know. Uh, we. And I just figured we'd start off with a joyous flight. And there's a Cheeto page here, so you can, if you just head to the top of this temple. What game are you playing? Banjo Tui. This is my first episode of. Banjo Tui, I'm a really suck the woo woo, because it's woo wooting annoying. I mean, it's I'm really annoying. Um, Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tui on Xbox. Oh, really? They put it on, ba they put it on Xbox too? Ow! Good fuck, Nintendo. Yeah, but they like ports. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll, when you see the temple opposite, um. Mumbo's uh, skull. You see, like these little dragon-like things, or you shoot eggs into them. That's how you solve gold problems these days. Good. And we have blowing. So you just keep firing eggs until they're all gone. And. I think. Okay, and it opens up this. It opens up this little room, and you go in it. I think I probably won. Okay, so we're in the treasure chamber. Wait, wait. And we're now talking with. It's all a treasure. I don't know. I don't know his name. Oh, Chief bloped us in. Wow. Okay. Now we're gonna, if I can do this right, we're about to see a mechanic that was introduced in Banjo Tui, and I absolutely adore it. Um, so. If you go on Kazooie, you get a honeycomb. Uh, an empty honeycomb? Yeah, up to the top. You can't go on up there. It, it, it's just too, too steep. I thought you were playing Banjo to me. I am, I am playing Banjo to But if he was introduced in Banjo to me. It was, it, it, was, it was a game mechanic. Not an actual mechanic himself. So, you all, uh, you saw me flying off at the start of the episode, right? Yeah, totally. We did, totally. You. Um, well, you need to head to this very flight pad. And take flight. As people would guess. I don't expect to give out. Oh, it is? Okay. <gasps> no! It's okay. I will, I will always be here in your ones. Wow. That... <laughs> I thought I was dying earlier. Go figure. Alright, so we head into this door. Um, or, or the roof of it, you know. Go on, you silly bird. God, now you're going to get silly, but... Oh, when we were recording, you're going to get naughty work. Oh! Okay, that was dumb of me. I just, I just, like, did a big bust and ride to the wall. Yeah, wall punching. Like a bounce. Okay, so, we have these stairs, and... We activate the switch, okay. and... We go to the cold, just drop out, or was that? No, that was probably just you. Well, just you, Kane. Right. So we're now in. 
a, a, a whole new world. Now for this, you have to be careful. You can't make much noise. Just gotta find out where the hell he is. Okay, so... Well, while we're walking around... Wait, oh, wait, is he, is he, is he here? Oh, crap, he's on the other side. Fuck. Um, okay. So what you've got to do is you've got to get across to the shiny thing that you see. Oh, and if you step on the sticks, you get kicked out. What? If you step on the sticks um, in the new, in the world we enter, uh, Teriyaki Land, uh, he kicks you out. So, what you have to do is, you have to tiptoe all across. Oh god, that reminds me of one of the early sections of The Hobbit. So to do this, you just gently push on the um, control stick. And... It's fucked. I have awesome life. Oh, damn it! I was like... I was like right next to him and I screwed it up. Well, when you end up finishing your XD Gala Darkness LP, yeah, you should call us him. I don't have calls him, and I don't. Yeah, I don't have enough memory on any of my memory cards to it. So, oh. so forgetting this um, shop, the little shiny thingy. What I recommend is that you go around until it's you see the unga bunga and the shiny. So you just gently just push around it, and remember. Oh, damn it! God, freaking damn it! Okay, it it's it takes quite a while, so I'm not gonna like do it again because I'm not good at editing it and everything. So I'm just going to wait. Uh, what recording system are you using? I'm, I'm using Bandicam, so yeah. Uh, Don't use Bandicam anymore. But I, that's how I do the co-recording. No, you can use Microsoft Expression and Coder. Exactly the kind of thing you can have a set to have a start and then stuff like that. Come again. Uh, right. Microsoft Expression and Coder is like Brandy Cat, except it has its own uh, editing well, while you were talking, we went and we're talking to a cow. Her name is Bovina. Now, this is a, one of the easiest jiggies in this world. Just stop, just to say. Um, you said something about not having enough memory to. You didn't have enough memory on any of your cards to do something called this. Yeah. Oh, sorry, because I have a 251 block memory card. You mad, bro? Not really. Okay, so. That's all I you have to do. This is all you have to do. This is all you have to do. You just have to shoot down the flies. And. You get a jiggy. You get a jiggy. This is the. What the hell? Jiggy. Jiggy. You get a jiggy just for being a freaking exterminator? And then if you do backflips, you can get an empty honeycomb. So that puts us to two. And actually, it also puts us to cl close to the end of the episode. So, this has been Marvel Pokemon 1993. With the hair guy. We were joined by Kato. Kato's one, two, three. And we are so sorry about that. We're saying peace. Bitches!